Alright, so listen, I know what you're thinking. Hey, you promised us an Arrowverse video, which is coming along, but I figured while that takes some time baking in the oven, I would make a video along with a lot of my favorite YouTubers and film reviewers and be a part of the One Villainous Scene playlist. Nanovi Movies has done it again and brought us film reviewers together to talk about the One Villainous Scene. That one scene that kept us on our toes, made us a bit uncomfortable, made us a bit scared. I watched Mauricio's video and, while well, not invited, but I handled it like a champion. Because you know what? No matter how many times I get hit, I always get back up. I still felt like making a video, so here we go. As I thought long and hard about what scene made me quake with fear, what scene made me so uncomfortable I couldn't finish my popcorn, I remembered something. Something that has haunted my mind since I was a kid, a scene that has made me genuinely scared for the hero's life, spider -Man. Had you not been so selfish, your little girlfriend's death would have been quick and painless. But now that you've really pissed me off, I'm gonna finish her nice and slow. MJ and I, we're gonna have a hell of a time. Mr. Osborne. Peter, thank God for you. You killed those people on that balcony. The goblin killed. I had nothing to do with it. Don't, don't let him take me again. I beg you, protect me. You tried to kill Aunt May. You tried to kill Mary Jane. But not you. You tried to stop it. I couldn't stop it. I would never hurt you. I knew from the beginning. If anything ever happened to me, it was you that I could count on. You, Peter Parker, would save me, and so you have. Thank God for you. Give me your hand. Believe in me, as I believed in you. I've been like a father to you. Be a son to me now. I have a father. His name was Ben Parker. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Oh. Peter. Don't tell Harry. Imagine those words being said to you. Imagine your best friend's parents' last words were don't tell their child the horrible things that they've done. That's deep, man. Since the beginning of this movie, it's abundantly clear that Norman is impressed with Peter. Norman sees a bit of himself in Peter. So when this happens, oh. It's impactful. I could go on and on and on about how much I love this scene. I could talk about the amazing set design. I could talk about the tenseness I felt during this scene. I could talk about the drama this scene entails and what it means for the rest of the trilogy, but I want to talk about why I chose this scene. Out of millions of options to choose from, why did I choose this scene? Well, I chose this scene because it shows the real characteristics of the characters. After all Peter has gone through, he realizes that this is what Uncle Ben would want, and Norman is partially right in this scene. This formula, this lust for power, has made him lost. He has lost his way, but that isn't the end of Norman's story. Through all of the tough love he gives Harry, he still loves him and wants to protect him from the burden of knowing what his father has done, so he won't turn out just like him. This puts a lot of weight on Peter. He knows what happened. Some could argue that it was his fault, but even if Peter wanted to tell Harry, he knows that it's best he doesn't know. I think Norman pushed Peter along and helped him learn some valuable lessons. Although Norman died, the lessons he taught Peter didn't. And that's my one villainous scene. I love you all. Stay safe.